birthday po ngayon ni Father Dave. Sixty-two na siya ngayon. Kaya nagpa-bump off na po akong presider sa misa. Kasi makabuluhan naman that on his 62nd birthday, he celebrates the Eucharist as thanksgiving for the gift of life with you, his beloved Greenbelt community. He was named David when he was baptized. And David means beloved. I was not there when he was baptized. But if I had been there, I would have advised his parents not to name him David. I would have advised his parents to name him Judas. <laughs> Pinadumi lang ni Judas Iscariot yung pangalan. But actually, Judas means praised, famous, glorified, recognized, awarded. That is the meaning of Judas. And after 62 years, you know that Father Dave has influenced so many, not only within the church, but even in secular society. Sana Judas ang pangalan niya. Bagay na bagay. <laughs> Pero David ang binigay sa kanya. At kasama yon sa plano ng Diyos para sa kanya. Because David means beloved. So he's not just praised like Judas. He's not just famous and glorified and recognized. He is beloved. Because there is something more important than being praised. Some people are praised, but they are not loved. At the end of the day, God is not going to ask us, were there people who praised you? God is only going to ask us, did you love and did you allow them to love you? So Father Dave is David because he is beloved. And at 62, he offers his Mass of thanksgiving for this gift of life and the gift of the priesthood. So, what is in Father Dave's heart that he is thankful for? At the end of King David's life, who is the most popular David in the entire world, in the entire human history, King David, at the end of his life, was thankful for three very important persons in his life. And now, Father Dave celebrates his 62nd birthday. Tutal, katulad ni King David, marapit na rin siyang mamatay. <laughs> Lahat naman tayo, papalapit mamatay, di ba? When we were born, God already knew when we would die. And the Lord knows when Father Sok will die, when Father Dave will die, when you will die. And after our birth, every day is a day closer to that death, closer to that grave. Don't deny it. Because if you deny it, you might lose the important things in life. So at the end of King David's life, what was he grateful for? And at the end of Father Dave's life, what is he grateful for? The first person that King David was grateful for was the prophet Samuel. You found him in the first reading. Samuel anointed him king. Father Dave received the call of the Lord to be a priest. Today, if you can read his heart, he is grateful to all the people who were Samuels in his life, who made him realize that he is called to be a priest, who made him realize that, is, that he is called to something greater than human service, and it is a service of God that he will undertake, to make him realize that 
His vocation is for eternity, that His priesthood is forever. Brothers and sisters, if you open every priest's heart, you will find there many stories of Samuel, people who touched us, people who confirmed us, people who assured us that God is calling us. Father Dave has that Samuel also. Unfortunately, the Samuels in our lives, those who cheered us when we were discouraged, those who boosted us when we were confused, those who enlightened us when we were in deep problems, sometimes they are forgotten because the cheerleaders, the fans clubs, can be mesmerizing. Fathers, Father Dave has that Samuel, and it is the voice of Samuel that made him realize God's call. And that Samuel in Father David's life, we remember today, whoever who, whoever she may be, whoever he may be, we thank the Lord because by that call that God used to call Father Dave to the priesthood, we are now benefiting from that priesthood. The second person that King David was grateful for at the end of his life, believe it or not, was Bathsheba. Bathsheba. She was a beautiful girl. King David saw her from a distance after waking up from siesta. And he had relations with Bathsheba, who was married to his general Uriah. In the life of every priest, there is always a Bathsheba. And Bathsheba is not always a woman. Bathsheba is not always a girl. Bathsheba can be a man or a boy. But Sheba might not even be a human person. But Sheba might be a thing like money, like properties. But Sheba might not be a human person. But Sheba might not be a thing. But Sheba might even be invisible, like ambition, like prestige. All of these are temptations in the life of a priest. And I say, at the end of King David's life, he was grateful because he was confronted by his own Bathsheba. He knew that he was not Superman. He knew that he was made of flesh, not of bronze or iron. He knew that he could be corrupted. And because he could be corrupted, he must be vigilant, he must be strict, he must keep watch. In the life of every priest, every day is a yes for the Lord. But you just don't know, my dear brothers and sisters. Yes is actually relatively easy. But to say no to many other things, to say no to many people, to, so, to say no to many things, that is the deeper struggle. Because we can only be faithful to our yes to God if, our, if we are courageous to say no to many other things that are not God. Today, on his 62nd birthday, Father Dave gives thanks to those thorns in the flesh, to those Bathsheba's human beings, things, and invisible things that just keep on reminding him, Dave, no matter what social media says, no matter what Greenbelt says, no matter what Goretti says, you know who you are, we know who we are, we are wretched sinners before the eyes of the Lord, and we are here because we are priests of the mercy of God. And the third person 
that King David was grateful for. After Samuel, after Bathsheba, the third person that King David was grateful for was the prophet Nathan. Nathan. After being king for so many years, King David, the shepherd boy, had become an adulterer, a murderer, a manipulative administrator, a liar, a treacherous friend to Uriah, and everything put together. But like King David, he had people like you who were clapping for the king because the king could not do anything wrong. And then came forth Nathan. And Nathan said, Manipulator, liar, murderer, adulterer, that man is you. It was painful. It was humiliating. But that pain and humiliation from the words of the prophet Nathan became, became the point of conversion for King David. So he could say, Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. In the life of every priest, there is always a contrapello, a contrabida, who will say the not-so-nice things, but in their honesty, they really confront us. I want to assure you, brothers and sisters, while Father Dave is grateful for all your support, we priests are even more grateful to people who oppose us honestly because they make us better. They make us better in the sight of the Lord. At 62, Father Dave has so much to look behind him. He has also so much to look forward to. But in the, on the day of his birthday, let us join him in giving thanks for the Samuels who encouraged him, who enabled him, who supported him, who enlightened him, who advised him, who gave him food when he was hungry for the soul, and who spoke on behalf of God when he needed God, and God was too far. Today, we give thanks for the Bathshebas because they keep us humble, they keep us honest, they keep, us, they keep our feet flat on the ground because those Bathshebas remind us that the priest is not an angel, that the priest is not a pure spirit, and every day will be a struggle, and every yes for the Lord must mean thousands of no's. And it is in our courage to say no that we can prove our fidelity to our yes. Today, we give thanks for the Nathans, for the prophets who hurt, who humiliate, but who end up bringing to us hope to become better disciples of the Lord. We thank Father Dave for responding to God's call to be a priest. The priesthood is his destiny in the same way that kingship was the destiny of the first David. But we thank the Lord because that destiny which is priesthood, Father Dave has responded with fidelity. That is human. That is almost divine. That is helped by the Lord. Father Dave, thank you. You are really God's beloved. Sometimes Judas, but more importantly, you are beloved. And we want to assure you today, on your 62nd birthday, you are our beloved too. 
but should we fail in expressing that you are our beloved know that there is only one who will never fail in proving that you are his beloved it is the lord thank you for samuel thank you for the weakness of Bathsheba. thank you for the hurts and humiliations of nathan all of these have made you who you are and we are grateful to the lord <laughs>